New at five, members of the Woonsocket Police Department are on their way to Washington, D.C. And they're getting their relay style, taking turns running four miles and spending the rest of the time living out of RVs. Iowa News reporter Julianne Pixoto explains why they do it from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. A dozen Woonsocket police officers are currently making the 400-mile trek to our nation's capital. It's a tradition they've done for the past 16 years, and it's all in an effort to help the families of their fallen comrades. From Dallas to Baton Rouge, 2016 was one of the worst recent years for targeted police officer killings. In 2016, 145 officers have been killed in the line of duty. So far this year, 44 officers have been killed in the line of duty in the United States, which represents a 22% increase over last year. The Concerns for Police Survivors is a national organization that supports the loved ones fallen officers leave behind. The group offers families everything from financial assistance and psychological help to summer camps and scholarships. The Woonsocket Police Department helps raise money for the group through its annual Cops Walk journey. Our money goes uh, directly to the New England chapter of, of the Cops organization. Robert Shaw is one of the 37,000 COPS members. It was a joke, son. Shaw's son, Stephen, a Providence police officer, was killed in the line of duty in 1994. Sometimes it's better to just give a person a hug and say nothing. Shaw has participated in various COPS walks for two decades. It's so great because I can say to a father, it sucks, and he knows because he walked in my shoes before me and I walk with him now. He says the group has given him more than just tangible things. These guys will always be family. Always. Out of tragedy came some good. Last year's team raised $26,000 and donations are still being accepted here at the department for this year's Cops Walk team. In Woonsocket with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.